Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of November 1st through November 3rd, 2019. It is officially the first day of November. We have made it. We are at the home stretch of the end of the year, y'all. This is getting a little nuts. 2020 is just around the corner. I hope you guys had a fantastic Halloween. Um, I ended up, I was very happy because here, at least here in New York, the rain had stopped like mid-afternoon. So the kids were out in droves last night doing their trick-or-treating, which was fantastic. I had a really nice, relaxing evening at home. <laughs> yeah, I was not trying to be out there in that madness. Um, some good news. I finally got my P.O. box set up. Um, if you saw the community post yesterday, then you saw that I, I posted the address there. The address is also posted in the description box below. And we are celebrating the one year anniversary of morning coffee. Now, I'm a little bit of, uh, uh, I'm a little, I'm a little dense here. Um, I actually missed the, the anniversary. The anniversary was actually the, like the first episode of Morning Coffee was actually published or posted on the 15th of October of last year. And for some reason, I was convinced for, I don't know why, but I mean, and I had checked once before, but well, twice before actually, but for some reason I was convinced that the, um, that the actual, actual anniversary was in November, but that's okay because now that I think about it, I wasn't even really able to really celebrate it much in the way that I had hoped until November because I wanted to leave it open for you guys to make some sort of donations. Like if you wanted to donate some cool mugs or maybe some um, cards that like tarot or oracle cards that you would like to see used here on the channel or specifically for morning coffee. I wanted to have the PO box available for that and I actually couldn't get that done until the end of October. So um, <clears throat> that's okay. Um, I'm a little disappointed because I wanted to be able to like at least like you know give a little shout out hey today is the anniversary and I totally dropped the ball on that but it's okay don't worry about it. We're still one year into morning coffee that's still pretty freaking awesome and Divine Conversations itself is turning two on January 8th so <laughs> big big old anniversary time for us here at Divine Conversations, yeah? So if you would like to make some sort of donation to the channel, if you wanna add to the crystal collection, if you would like to add to the card collection, um, you know, if there's if there are some, like your favorite tarot deck, if you'd like to see that used here, um, your favorite oracle deck, if you'd like to see that used here. Um, <clears throat> I do have, um, I might, if you guys need, I might put together a list of all of the things that the, 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 the Tarot and Oracle decks that I have, um, if you guys would let, are interested in that, just so that, um, you know, I, we don't have any repeats or anything like that, but even still, it's okay. Um, oh, also, look out this weekend for the November readings. I really can't even believe we're in November right now. This is kind of surreal. But anyway, um, the November readings should be up this weekend. And also, if not today, um, I'm, I'm still editing them, some of them, and then I have to get them uploaded. So it may, they may not actually be published until tomorrow or Saturday. Um, but then also the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine readings or, or connecting with your Inner Masculine, connecting with your Inner Feminine readings will be up this weekend as well. Yes? All right, guys. So let's get into the energies of the collective. So... First things first, it's funny because I, I spent a few moments sitting here just channeling the energies for the collective and a little bit of pettiness was coming through, not going to lie. The Page of Swords fell out, of course, but his back was turned um, and then the Five of Swords got my attention and it was both sides, both, both versions of the cards were, ba people's backs were turned. However, with the Five of Swords, it was the side of the card where somebody was walking away. Um, I guess there's a sense of uh, 
someone is not paying attention any longer or maybe someone is watching you and doesn't want you to know or is super incognito about it um but there could be there could be a lot of pettiness involved with that um but then whereas another person is completely walking away from that type of energy um so it really could be a situation in which someone is keeping tabs on you or is watching you but is is doing it for petty or narcissistic reasons or is really not wanting you to be aware of it. Um, they may not even be happy about the fact that they're still watching you. Uh, I don't know, maybe, or maybe they're not admitting it, um, or maybe they're just, I don't know, whatever. I don't even wanna give that much more, um, much more conversation or much more thought or energy because what we have here for like the actual pre-shuffle energies that are, that, you know, when I, once I was ready for it and I was asking, okay, what are the, let's get into these energies now. This is what's came out, and it's actually a really good thing. You have the Nine of Cups, and you have the High Priestess. The, uh, we are looking at the, the back of the High Priestess, but in my opinion, as a reader, this is where you have been let in on the secrets of the universe, or something has been revealed to you, or you're in, you're in a state of a higher form of awareness here. Um, with the Nine of Cups, that is bringing a little bit of a smugness to the situation. <laughs> Um, the Knight of Cups being s satisfaction, I really do feel like there's a sense of understanding that satisfaction is here, wish fulfillment is here, um, feeling very secure, feeling even very wealthy or abundant too with this Nine of Cups. Um, because as you can see, this figure, this this gentleman here is, you know, he's looking quite wealthy, quite well to do. He's in a really nice, uh, a really nice looking home, if it is a home or whatnot, a very nice looking building. He's wearing very nice clothes. There is a certain sense of smugness here, um, but it, but take that with a grain of salt, okay? Because you've done a lot of work to get yourself here, okay? You have the chariot as your overall energy, so someone is definitely on the move here and definitely not looking back. And then on the other side of the card, or on the deck, you have judgment. Okay, um, but in this side of judgment, you know, you have these people that are standing here naked, okay, exposed, but in their free, okay, in, in naked, being naked in spiritual reality or like the symbolism behind being naked spiritually is um, being free, being authentic, being true to yourself, not wearing any sort of garments that would cover up the truth the beauty of your essence, of your pure essence, okay, um, this is being if you want to, I, I, dare I say, this is being woke, <laughs> okay? This, what this, this side of judgment represents here, all right? And so it really feels like somebody is definitely, some of you, many of you, whomever I'm channeling for, whatnot, whatever, it definitely feels like you are on your way, regardless of the circumstances, regardless of what it may look like out externally on the surface, it doesn't matter because you have a sense of satisfaction security, wisdom, understanding, and balance, and even guidance within. And that's really all that matters. Why? Say it with me, y'all. Your, your physical reality is a direct reflection of your internal reality. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I screwed that up. <laughs> your external reality, there it is. Your external reality is a direct reflection of your internal reality. So regardless of what's going on in the external, as long as you are safe, solid, and secure, and understanding of yourself and what it is you stand for on the inside, everything's gonna be okay, all right? Excellent. All right, guys, so let me just reset here. Oh, 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 okay. Well, look at that, looky here, looky here. For any of you who are wondering what we were talking about or who we were talking about. Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords. You could say this is the feminine. This also could be the feminine energy within you. Yes, Queen of Swords. I'm sorry, Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords, Death. Okay, but this is kind of the rebirth side. But then you also have strength on the other side of the deck here, all right? So you're still kind of facing some demons, maybe. And you know what? To be quite honest, that's never really gonna stop here in this physical existence, at least until we are firmly anchored within fifth dimensional reality and whatnot, whatever. I, and I don't even want to, I don't even want to get into that. Like you, at, at this, it, this time right now and this time in our lives and this time in human existence, whatnot, whatever, with these big shifts that are happening and the changes and whatnot, 
the devil is going to rear its ugly head and all you're going to have to do, all you're really going to need to do is just stay in your strength, stay in your power. Remember who you are. Remember what you're capable of. Remember what you came here for. And the devil can't ever get you, really ever get you down. The only time, the only way the devil has power over you is if you give that power to the devil. And I really don't see that happening ever again for any of us that are really vibing with this these channelings, you know, with this collective that I've been channeling for, for a while, we've come way too far to ever let that happen ever again. So, and that's part of, I guess, the satisfaction, the smugness, if you will. Look at that. See, I told you, six of swords, moving on, moving from rough waters to calmer waters, eight of cups, seven of swords. Some of you might be doing this, walking away from things, um, uh, and not really making a big deal of it, not really telling anybody anything about it, not really trying to discuss it keeping it to yourself, all right? Keeping it to yourself. However, whatever, one last shuffle. And then we're gonna get into the rest of the reading for today. <clears throat> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of November 1st, Friday, November 1st, through Sunday, November 3rd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. I'm going to give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got here. Um, for some reason, I heard teamwork. Teamwork is key here. And I feel like that's a message for counterparts. We have to be working together somehow. Even if we are... Ugh, this is going to be a tough pill for me to swallow, but <laughs> so I can only imagine how others might take it. But even if we are physically separated, there is there really is no separation. All right. So in terms of a counterpart, energetically, we need to be working together. We need to have this teamwork aspect element going in our lives. Take that as you will. <laughs> Uh, last shuffle here and then for we'll see what we've got for our weekend edition Friday November 1st through Sunday November 3rd but also keep in mind that these messages are timeless yes talk about for this weekend spirit what do we need to talk about Ooh. okay five of pentacles overall energy with the queen of swords hmm. we have oh shit y'all the seven of pentacles is in reverse we have the lovers with the five of swords in reverse. We have the king of swords, the moon, the ten of pentacles, and the devil. <clears throat> There's a song in my head that, um, that was playing in my head was running freaking rampantly through my head last weekend. It's a song called Feel It Boy. It's by, it's Beanie Man and Janet Jackson. And um, it in the song, Beanie Man talks about, you know, this relationship that he has with this, this woman. I'm hearing counterpart soulmate. Um, 
and it just talks about the dynamic between that. And there's one part where um, there's this one part. It's the bridge, I guess. Um, you have the first, you have the first verse, the hook, the second verse, the hook, and then the bridge, right? Um, and in that bridge, this one phrase is is peeking through. It is really standing out, and I've been resisting talking about this, but Spirit is really pushing me. It's this part where he says, where he basically says to open your door, girl, and let me back in. Basically letting them, the, this is basically the masculine asking the feminine to let him back, to let him back into her heart. The lovers with the five of swords in reverse. So there really is, there really is some sort of, um, Pettiness. I'm hearing jealousy. I'm hearing resentment. Pettiness. <laughs> they just said tomfoolery. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, that is needing to be released. Uh, that took me a long time to get to. At this point now, um, just speaking personally, at this and we are talking about the counterparts here, obviously. <laughs> We have the lovers, right? But um, that took me some time to get through. Uh, you just got to purge it. And I know I've gotten to the point now where it's just like, I just don't, I really don't care. Um, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because I'm sharing my experience to help relate. Um, I... Because I'm on this journey with you guys too. I am no better. I mean, yes, I am a guide, but it doesn't mean I have all the answers. I'm not trying to have all the answers. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, or where I am in my in my on my part of the journey or in my path, um, I've settled into this energy of just being content and happy with myself, being on my own. I would love to have a partner but it's not necessary. <laughs> um, it really is not necessary. I, I have come to a point where I really enjoy my time and my, my, my space on my own. So as far as a counterpart coming in, I'm not worried about it. I'm not trying to have it happen anytime soon. Again, yes, I do. Would, I would like to have a partner, but as far as I'm personally concerned, I'm not trying to be petty. I'm not trying to, to argue. I'm not trying to fight, but also... I'm personally not trying to have this energy in my life. Five of Swords, okay? Um, so I guess I'm saying that to say my, 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 what? My goal with that is to help you guys, you know, understand where you could come to in terms of this situation. You have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to mean. I, I mean, logically or, or, or just purely logically thinking this could mean that a lesson has lear been learned here we understand we understand that what we've re we reap what we've sown or we understand the lessons from the past we understand what we don't want to create in the future but also i'm getting an energy of being stuck here not necessarily learning the lesson not really looking at mm -hmm. okay so the feminine needs to do this too look We've been talking a lot about what the masculine is going through and how the masculine is perceiving things and blah, blah, blah. And, and everything has been looking pretty peachy for the feminine, I guess. Um, even though it really hasn't been because, you know, at this point in the game, <clears throat> many of us that are on the feminine side of this collective have been through the ringer, have been through a lot of the stuff that we needed to go through and have done a lot of the healing that we needed to do in order to reach the level that we're at. And it's not like the masculine can't get there, but the masculine is just on a different part of the journey or in a different side of the journey, a different phase in the journey. But the feminine here also needs to look at some of her own shit and needs to. And, and this is not to say that you need to start placing blame on yourself. No, but you need to start looking at maybe the bed that you may have made or coming to terms with that specifically, um, maybe even loving yourself through maybe some of the, the, the cringe-worthy moments that you've experienced on this path. And that actually could be, it's really not about learning the lesson and not and putting that to rest and not um, 
you know, recreating those situations again. But I feel like some of the blockage you might be dealing with, feminines, are in a sense maybe putting yourself out in the cold in the face of maybe some of the ways that you may have acted on this counterpart journey. What's on the other side of this? Oh yeah, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is on the other side of the deck with the uh, Five of Pentacles. And uh, in all honesty, the Queen of Swords energy is kind of asking you to look yourself in the face and stop putting yourself out in the cold. That's literally what she just said. Oh shit, we do have counterparts here. We have the Queen of Swords there and we have the King of Swords here. His back is turned. But honestly, I feel like he's looking over at this lightning strike, at this storm. Um, and there's a cycle that's closing out because you have the King of Swords, you have the Moon, you have the Ten of Pentacles, and you have the Devil, all right? So the Devil, you have two forms of counterparts here. You have the King and the Queen of Swords, you have the Devil and the Lovers. The Devil and the Lovers are polar opposites of each other. And I do feel like the devil here is representing the bond that you have with a certain individual that you're not necessarily ever going to really be let, be able to let go of or, or, or completely cut ties with. I mean, okay, yeah, all right. That's the spirit saying, yes, that is part of the message. Um, but it's not all of the message. Don't get, they're saying don't get caught up on that. Don't get hung, hung up on that at all, okay? See, what they're saying is see the toxicity and the narcissism for what it truly is. Bring the cycle to an end. Understand that you don't have to be subject to that sort of energy, even if, even if this is your counterpart. Also, you don't have to... You don't have to keep fighting. You don't have to keep beating yourself up about this. You don't have to keep holding on to resentment because that's really only hurting you in the end. Uh, basically, what this reading, I guess, what the energy of this reading is asking us to do is to start to recognize unity consciousness. Even if somebody isn't, quote, your twin, right, or your divine counterpart, it doesn't mean that they're not a part of you, okay? Your soul, your oversoul is one of many 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 infinite amounts of other over souls but all but even though those may be separate over souls they're still parts of the of the bigger bigger source that we all come from so we all are one we all we all we, it's time to start understanding unity consciousness not necessarily from the fact that you share a soul with another physically incarnated person on the planet, but unity consciousness in the sense that you share the unity of source with everyone else and everything else in, on the planet, in this world, in this galaxy, in this universe, in this galaxy, in everything, in all of existence, okay? Unity consciousness is key here is what they're saying. The moon, the Ten of Pentacles, cycles completing, closing out, the King of Swords. I just heard the Emperor for some reason. I was looking at the King of Swords and I heard the Emperor. So that's the Divine Masculine, I'm sure, okay. Um, and I really don't even, I really don't even want to be, you know, separating this anymore between masculine and feminine but that message comes through sometimes so i guess i'm gonna have to do it but anyway um close the cycle close the cycle you guys king of swords is diplomacy and also you look you have the counterparts you have the king and the queen of swords balance masculine and feminine you have the lovers here which is that balance of masculine and feminine so I guess the next, and it's interesting because I had already been kind of slipping into this myself, but I guess the next step for us in this part of the collective or whomever I'm channeling for, whomever's been resonating with me, this channel, these readings, whatnot, whatever, the next step is to start integrating unity consciousness. Start wrapping your heads around it. Start trying to get a conscious understanding of it, even though it is a pretty abstract 
it's a pretty abstract um, concept in terms of the conscious mind, but it is a necessary part of the necessary development uh, part of the, the part of this journey here. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. So let's, um, let's get some clarity here and I'm bringing the crystal visions to row deck back for, to, to kick off November. All right. I feel like I want to clarify all three parts of this situation here. Unity consciousness is indeed the message. So I guess right now, spend some time over the weekend, maybe just trying to like meditate on that, you know, connecting with source and, and getting some downloads from source in terms of what unity consciousness means, what it means for you, how you can identify within immunity consciousness. See what you can get over the weekend. You know, spend some time meditating with it. See what kind of downloads you can get. And even if you're watching this long after the, the, the first through the third, and this is resonating with you, spend some time, you know, take some time out of your day, out of your week. I heard out of your month. Um, to focus on identifying what unity consciousness means to you, yeah? Okay. We're going to start here. The Five of Swords in reverse with the Lovers. Let's get some energetic clarity on this. Wow. <laughs> Overall energy of the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> you have the King of Swords again with the Four of Swords. King of Swords, Four of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Nobody is asking you in this, in this divine counterpart journey, nobody is asking anyone to lose any form of their independence or their autonomy or their sovereignty whether you're on the masculine side, whether you're on the feminine side. And I, I, I do feel like this is um, masculine. This is a little bit of a, a specific message for some of you because I feel like some of you are feeling like you are losing your identity in this whole, in this whole uh, twin flame dynamic, the divine counterpart dynamic, um, th this, this, asking of to accept and integrate with into unity consciousness but again that's not that's a misconception because what is necessary what is required in order to really take part in this divine counterpart situation is for you to be independent is for you to have your own sense of self and, and so i get a strong i get a strong feeling that some of you are kind of like getting mad at the feminine because we're asking you to be something that you are not currently embodying in order to make us happy and that's not the case this is what the universe is asking you for this is why you're up against these certain challenges in which you have people in your lives that are requiring things of you that are not necessarily fulfilling for you or are not authentic to you you're needing to stand up to that stand up for yourself stand up for what you truly believe in stand up for what you truly want that's what the feminine has been asking you for that's what the the universe is asking you for okay but here with this lovers and the five of swords five of swords being in reverse we're asked we're being asked diplomacy diplomacy we're being asked to release the pettiness the narcissism the the the, the fighting and come back into unity consciousness see this clearly see each other for who we truly are see yourselves for who you truly are and if you need to take some time in order to meditate and do that go ahead and do that but there's definitely some sort of change in perspective that is still needed here a bit with this four of swords we also have the knight of swords the ace of swords the moon again and the fool a 
in all honesty, what this is asking, what this is asking people for on this journey. Ooh, all right, spirit. Y'all said it, so I'm going to say it. They're saying cut the shit. Cut the bullshit, y'all. Stop lying to yourselves. Stop lying to each other. Be honest. Communicate honestly. And we're not asking you to do this in an aggressive way, even though you do have this Knight of Swords here. We're not asking you to do this in an aggressive way. We're not asking you to be mean about it. We're not asking you to be selfish about it narcissistic even about it what we're saying is you got to be true you got to be honest you got to be honest with yourselves and you got to be honest with your counterparts or your partner so even if you're not in communication with your with your your, your counterpart you are being asked to be honest with yourself about what this situation truly is stop denying the fact that this happened stop denying the fact and i hey i can attest to that stop to stop telling yourself you're crazy stop you, stop denying this because in essence, what you're really doing is you are, you're blocking this 10 of cups, regardless of whether it's with this counterpart or with this specific person or not, you're blocking your 10 of cups by holding on to this petty energy, five of swords here. All right. Take a new, a leap of faith, a brand new start. But this is not asking you to just jump by blindly. This is not asking for blind faith. We're asking you to be honest here, be truthful with yourself, because I feel like some of you are really blocking some things from moving forward in your life. In order for you to take this leap of faith, and obviously this leap of faith is gonna look different for everybody, all right. But in order for you to be able to be ready to jump to, to embark on whatever new journey it is that you need, you have to be 100 percent completely honest with yourself about everything that has gone down, everything that you are facing. And accept yourself, love yourself, integrate, love yourself for who you are. Recognize that if you've done some cringeworthy things or whatever, or like you have some cringeworthy moments going on in your, in your memory of this circumstance or situation, love yourself through it. Recognize how far you've come since then, how much you've changed since then, how much you've grown. I keep hearing narcissistic tendencies. I think everybody needs to start recognizing how they have these narcissistic tendencies within. It's not just the masculine, okay? It's the feminine too, and the feminine acted, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I can say that I did. I didn't realize it at the time, but now looking back on it, it's like, oh wow, yeah, okay, I see that. I totally see that, okay? Nobody, no human being is exempt from any of these Regardless of whether you're on the, following the spiritual path or not, whether regardless of whether you're awakening or going through an enlightening process, what, it doesn't matter. Everybody, narcissism is running rampant in human society, and we need to recognize that and cut the shit. Okay? Everybody is susceptible to it. Okay. Um... Let's look at the other side here. King of Swords again, the Moon again, Ten of Pentacles, the Devil, Seven of Pentacles, which is in reverse. There are some things that we have to face, you guys. Some people are refusing to face some of their own shit. And you will forever be in the shadows, you will forever be under the the control or the influence of the devil for as long as you are denying certain aspects of yourself, certain actions you may have taken. And if these are things, and, and, and for some of you, these are things that just keep coming up, okay? Every time we have these purgy cycles, these things keep coming up. And some of you are just either beating around the bush or sweeping it right back under the rug and not really doing any of the work to release it. And then you wonder, and then you wonder why these things keep coming back up. 
You've got to release it if you want to heal from it. You've got to acknowledge it. You've got to see it for what it is, King of Swords. You've got to cut it out, Queen of Swords. Okay. Let's get some clarity here. King of Swords, the Moon, Ten of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Let's get a little bit of clarity on this, please, Spirit. A little bit of clarity on this energy. The, there's the... Oh, shit. You guys, you remember when I was talking about this King of Swords before and I heard the Emperor? Well, here he is. Y'all, you've got to take you you've got to take your power back. You've got to take you've got to own responsibility for your own shit. Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. No one is asking you to rush through this, you guys. No one is asking you to rush through this. Take it slowly. Take it day by day. Take it piece by piece. Take it instance by instance. You don't have to rush through this. Some of you do want to rush through this because it's painful. Looky here. You got to feel you got to you got to roll with the punches. You got to get through the pain. It's only going to make you stronger, all right? But the more you hide from it, the more you push it away, the longer it's going to take to heal it or handle it. 7 of wands ace of wands queen of pentacles and the emperor wow this actually this is a perfect this is oh thank you so much spirit this is actually really perfect this is really perfect that it came out this way okay the emperor and the queen of pentacles so first of all we have another instance of the balance between masculine and feminine energy Okay, I don't want you to look at the fact that the, we have minor arcana, major arcana here. Um, one is not better than the other, okay, in the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. What I want you to do is pay attention to what these two specific cards mean, okay? Let's start with the Emperor. The Emperor is the master of his own domain. Yes, the Emperor can represent Aries energy, but that's not, that has nothing to do with this right now. The Emperor is the master of his own domain. He is in control of his life. He is in control of his direction. He is in, contr in control, period, okay? The emperor takes responsibility for his actions, for his surroundings, for his subjects, okay? The emperor, when he's balanced, is a positive, is a beneficial leader, is a father, is um, a really good person to have on your side because he's going to protect you, okay? He's committed, all right? The emperor, in this case, represents taking responsibility, owning your own shit, fine the queen of pentacles here in the feminine energy represents that nurturing loving caring compassionate grounded abundant stable but firm energy that allows you to deal with all of this I'm not even going to hold it up. I'm just going to say it. I'm going to leave it here. To deal with all of this, King of Swords, the Moon, the Devil, the Ten of Pentacles, bringing whatever lessons that you need to learn here to a close, facing whatever it is you need to face, okay? The Emperor gives you the ability to take responsibility and say, you know what? I fucked up here or I did this right, or I, 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 I succeeded here, or this needs a little bit more work, or mm, I didn't do that so well, or wow, I need to be honest about that, or oh shit, I didn't even realize that I was doing that. The emperor gives you the ability to take responsibility. The queen of pentacles gives you that loving, caring, nurturing energy that you need to help you get through the physical lessons. Do you see the balance of masculine and feminine here? how that's working together. Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, inspiration to move in a new direction, put some greater boundaries in place. Defend yourself from the devil. The more you deny the lessons that you have to learn here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, the more you are giving your power over to the devil. I don't care who we're talking about here. We're, we're talking about both. We're talking to both masculine and feminine individuals, counterparts on this journey. Period. The more you deny your involvement in things, the more you shirk your responsibility. 
the more you refuse to take responsibility for your life, for your actions, for your surroundings, for your environment, for your reality, the more you are going to be susceptible to the devil's tricks. Period. There is no way, and there is literally, you guys, I wish, I wish, but there is no other way around that. And that's part of the devil's mind games because he wants you to believe that you're at the mercy of everything, that you can't control your reality, that, that you have, that, that you, you're at the mercy of the elements. That is a mind game. He is just trying to control you. Don't let him do it anymore, period. And I'm going to keep driving this home because the messages keep coming through, so I'm going to keep saying it. The, the more you deny that, the more power the devil has over you, period. Okay, so now we're going to get... We're going to get Spirit's take and advice here on this. And then we're gonna close the reading with our oracle guidance. All right, so spirits take here. Guidance from spirit from the tarot. Give me a second, guys, because um, they're actually, spirit is actually asking me to just go to the oracle deck. Okay. I think enough of the guidance came through. So, all right, cool. So, Oracle guidance today is coming from the Lightworker Oracle. All right. Okay. No problem. No worries. I mean, I'm a little disappointed just because I like, I like pulling the cards, but they were just saying, no, it's not necessary. <laughs> the message came through. So, let's just get our Oracle guidance here. shuffle okay here we go oracle guidance please spirit for today's for this weekend's reading november 1st to the third for the collective Just one of them, not that one. Okay, card number 37. The heart transmission. Three and seven boils down to a 10, which is a completion. It's also a one. Okay. All right, here we go. Your heart is not only capable of giving and receiving love, but connecting you to a great network of beings that resonate in the highest frequencies of divine love. Through your heart, you can receive information and guidance from networks of light that fill our universe. As you learn to open your heart to receiving these transmissions, your ability to work with group consciousness in a loving way increases. You shall affect humanity in a loving way, influencing the collective rather than allowing the f lower frequencies of the collective to overwhelm you. This sounds a great deal like unity consciousness. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna leave it there. Yes, I'm gonna leave it there. So there you have it guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. Look out for the inner, connecting with your inner masculine and inner feminine readings this weekend, as well as the November monthlies, yeah? But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee, Monday morning, yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.